Hey y'all, we're making roasted beet and butternut squash salad. Step one, preheat the oven to 400 degrees, then gather your ingredients. To save time on preparation, I'm using pre-cut butternut squash. Step two is to prep the vegetables. We're going to be peeling two beets with a potato peeler. It's a bit of a messy process, so I recommend doing this over a sink. Then cut off the top end of the beet. We're slicing them thinly to reduce cooking time. Half moon sizes will work, about two inches long and a quarter of an inch thick. After your beets are sliced, go ahead and peel and cut up your butternut squash into cubes. Like I said, I'm using the pre-cut ones to save time. Throw them on a cookie sheet and then toss them in olive oil. A quick hack you can use is actually spraying them with a cooking spray. Then you're gonna sprinkle your salt and your pepper on them. Don't be afraid to add a good amount of salt since vegetables naturally have a low amount of sodium. We wanna use the salt to enhance the flavor. Roast in the oven for 30 minutes and at the halfway mark, turn the veggies over. While the veggies are cooking, we're gonna make the dressing. Typically I make my dressings in a glass jar and a whisk, but today I'm using a blender bottle. It's those protein shaker bottles that have the metal ball inside. It's a tad bit less work. Start with your orange, cut it into segments, squeeze over your hand to catch any seeds. Do this with the entirety of the orange. If you wanna use the zest, you can too. Next is to add two tablespoons of vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar today. You could also use a white balsamic or white wine vinegar. Then add two tablespoons of your sweetener of choice. You could use maple syrup, agave, or honey. I'm using an agave maple syrup blend. Next is one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and this acts as an emulsifier so that you don't have the oil and the juice separate. Add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil. You could also use avocado oil here and then a touch of pepper and a pinch of salt. Finally, give it a good shake and you are ready to go. This fall salad is so good for so many reasons, but one of those reasons is chevre. Chevre is a really soft goat cheese. While you can use a knife, it's so soft that it sticks to the knife. So I just crumble it with my fingers and you can see how easily it comes apart. Then we're gonna pour our arugula into a bowl. I'm just pouring half of the arugula in since we're only gonna eat half of the salad tonight for dinner. I like to dress my salad with the dressing so I get a little bit of that flavor in every bite and then give it a good mix with a fork. This recipe uses arugula just to give it a change, but you can also try spinach. Next, layer the toppings, your walnuts, your cranberries, about half of your cheese, and you can mix all of it in or just leave it on top for a good presentation. Top it with your sliced roasted beets, and of course, the star of the show, butternut squash. Mmm, look at that, so good. You can have the salad warm or cold. Either way, it's gonna be a delight. Roasted beet and butternut squash salad. Enjoy.